All right, so I am once again going to be doing a session of me sketching on my iPad for uh, just an, an idea. It's a quick idea I had, and it's actually a very simple idea. It's a video I've been wanting to do for about two weeks now, but just haven't got around to it. But today, tonight, I am going to be drawing a robin. Uh, one version with its wings up and one version with its wings down. And the idea is to kind of show it um, flying. I guess the process of flying. It's very simple, but it's an idea that I got in my head and I just kind of want to get it out so I can move on. So I am going to be working on that tonight. And I figure, why not um, do that? while I videotape it. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so I got this picture of a robin pulled up. Uh, and I'm just going to sketch him out real his body real quick and this is real rough and spade tail and he's got one wing up well he's got two wings up there's the one up there I think it's still smaller and there's another there okay he's got his little head his little head kind of picks up a little bit like he's proud and then his it doesn't, his, his chest doesn't go down that far, but I'm going to exaggerate it just because I like the movement of it. He's going to be a, a proud flying robin. Alright, so there he's got his, his eyeball right there. And then his beak comes out like this. Pretty good so far. I'll erase that where the wing comes in, make that a little bit more true. And like I said before, when I when I draw, I'm not trying to draw a portrait of what I'm looking at because the image I'm looking at already exists. I'm not trying to copy that. I'm trying to, uh, I guess, give my impression of it. So I'm not. I, ch I change a lot about the drawing. So I, the wing in the picture is very high up, um, but the angle I don't like so much. I'm gonna erase both wings. Now I got a better. Um, I want the angle of this, like the, to see this bird perfectly from the side and profile. The picture I'm looking at isn't of that vantage point. So I'm changing a couple things to get it. And I want the wings to kind of hit at the same line there. I'm going to erase that. I don't want one wing to be super higher than the other. The front one may actually, since it's closer, it might actually look bigger. That's where the coloring changes. And then he's got his little feet here. All right, that's not bad. Let me position it on the screen how I like it. Okay. All right. So I that is the composition I'm looking for. I know it doesn't look like much now, but that's the composition I'm looking for. So I'm just going to turn that opacity down, and I'm going to focus, get a new layer. I'm just going to focus on cleaning this bird up a little bit. So he's got his head, and then he's got a beak that comes this way, and then that's the top of his head, this area right here. I'm drawing planes right now, like the, the side of his head, top of his head. Th those lines are probably not going to stay in the drawing. And his eyes right here. And then robins have uh, white areas around the eyes. I'm just going to put that in real quick. 
Uh, draws a little beak. Now I'm going to make him a happy robin. So give him a little bit of a smile there. We'll curve this down a little bit more. Nice. bottom of his, his little chin, his furry chest, down and around, and then his little tail here. Well, that's not his tail yet, but it's the, I guess it's the, there's some like down feathers that are down there. And it's fluffier, looks fuzzy. Alright, so his shoulder kind of wraps around here and goes up from there. This first feather is kind of like an index finger, and then the other feathers get closer together. And I'm not going to try to get every one of them perfect right now. Just the basic shape, and then it goes to a straight line there, and it's got two layers of feathers. The second layer of feathers kind of makes a triangle. Well, maybe house shape house more like that and so I'm just gonna leave those here like that real quick and then his other wing I'm looking at this picture for reference but I'm making some of it up it's got a first layer of feathers that kind of looks like that it's got a second layer of feathers well a second layer of feathers that is made up of two layers in itself. That's too tall. Um, they're like, they, they fan out. Well, this one fans out this way. And then he's got also the finger, the finger like wings that are up here, the finger like feathers. Okay. His tail. So he's got like the top of his, this is going to be the top of his tail, this section here. And then this is going to be like the side of his tail, this section here. And then his feathers that are coming out, same thing. They're tough though. I'm going to do it like this, I think. Or do I want to flatten the tail? I might want to, f I might want to make it look like he's kind of banking a little bit to to flatten the tail out. Make it a little bit more graphic. And by graphic, I mean not full of violence, but. more easily translated into black and white. All right. Once again, the wings are like a, f the feathers are like a fan. I got that turned up real high. It's bugging me, turn it, the eraser turned up real high. I like when it kind of works like a pencil and an eraser. So, all right. I'm just going to give you guys a quick little color study so you can understand what I'm looking at here. Um, he's got the underside, 
that's orange. His beak's going to be orange. Uh-oh. I'm doing that right. Let me put this on multiply. And then we've got... The, this is going to be all gray. Probably some color, too, if I end up coloring it. Legit. But this is going to be gray into white up here. And then his head's going to be mostly gray, except for those white areas. So just to kind of give you an idea, that's that's basically what I'm looking at, what I'm going for. All right, so I've got that cleaned up the next level. I'm going to delete the first sketch and take that new sketch, a new, like, more defined sketch down another level. And I am going to uh, I'm going to bring him down a smidgen. Smidgen is a technical term. It means just a little bit. <laughs> All right. All right. So now I'm going to really work on, you know, f finessing the the, the robin. I'm using uh, Sketchbook Pro, if I haven't mentioned that, for an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil. And I use it because this is just quicker to draw this way. My images are automatically digital. I don't have to scan them in. It makes workflow a lot quicker. doesn't necessarily make it easier to draw. It can though. It can make drawing a circle super easy. Um, but I don't have that uh, setting on most of the time. I like it to feel like a piece of paper and a pencil. I use the pencil setting most of the time when I'm drawing. All right, let me get up close on this beak. Birds never look happy. They've always kind of got a little bit of a scowl on their in their beak, so they kind of point downward. But I'm not going to honor that here. I want to give them a little bit of a happy face. And their bottom beak is very tiny generally. Let's see how that looks. That doesn't look half bad. That doesn't look half bad. I generally start by closing or drawing the animals with a closed mouth but it's not impossible um, to think that I will open this mouth by the end of the drawing because the beak a lot of times I do I don't like that little <sighs> give myself more to carve in the face a little eyebrow and more of a rounded top of his head Some fluffy feathers. The marks. This reminds me of like the underside of a fish. Um, 
where they're like their face and mouth construction meets the body of the fish. This will be like his cheek. This needs to be 11. Not happy with that. I don't know why. So I'm just going to erase all of this in here. never happy with how I draw the bottom of the beak. What I tell you? Watch this. I told you that I'm going to probably open up this mouth. And here it comes. They just look more friendly. I drew a robin that I used for my skate decks, and I really liked how the mouth looked. I think there was like a, just a little bit of separation between the top jaw and the bottom jaw, and I kind of like how that looks for a bird, and I don't know why. I make his jaw longer, his bottom beak longer. I'll just move it around a bit. I think that's my word. Let's do it there. How does this look? Sing for me. That looks okay. One thing I don't like is how big that bottom jaw, the, the bottom of the bottom jaw is. So I'm just going to bring it in a little bit. And then I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring this in ever so slightly. And then I'm going to erase inside of the mouth area and just make it make more sense for the new shape that I've constructed. Alrighty. I don't like how much that comes out. I think I want to make this one continuous shape line. Also, I don't like this about the eye. It's not super true to the patterning on the robin. Kind of comes out a bit more. To make him look happier, I'm going to change the angle of that and just kind of make it like this. The more arching up. I like playing with the shapes um, to, make th to make them more expressive. Let me zoom out on my reference photo. Alright. So, speaking of playing with the shapes, I'm going to make this belly a little bit more, it's a little bit more down, a little bit more rounded.
we'll come back to the face probably. I'm not, I'm not digging the face. You know what I'm going to do actually? I'm gonna erase that completely. I'm trying to think. Be right back, I wanna grab something. I wanna use something as a reference. All right, I'm back. And I brought, <clears throat> I brought a carving that I had done, and this features the Robin I was talking about that I liked, um, where his mouth is the way I want it. So I'm just gonna, for inspiration, I'm just putting that on the, leaning it up on my desk so I can look at it. It's nice to look at your uh, past work that you enjoy that you like um, so you can refer back to it and notice what you liked about it and what you didn't like about it. So I'm going to click, I feel like I'm in a minor failure mode right now, so I'm going to click that off. I'm just going to delete it because I don't like it and I'm going to start over because that is okay. All right. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna work in a new layer and I'm gonna I'm gonna be real rough again. I'm going back to the rough stages just to figure out what I want to do with this head. Robins don't really have a crest. But I don't know why. I started drawing it at the beginning and then didn't like it. And here I am not liking this head at all. So I'm just going to go in a completely new direction. And I'm going to make it, like I said, feel like a robin. But maybe it doesn't have to look like a robin. Like kind of, that's kind of nice. The open beak, but I don't want every bird mouth that I ever do to look like that. So I'm gonna draw that there, and then I'm going to make it smaller. Because this head is very large. And it doesn't. All right, so I'm not going to do the crest. This this robin. That I had done in the past. I did a drew him with a little bit of a pointy head. But the robin I'm drawing tonight is not going to have a pointy head. I'm trying to, I'm trying to isolate the eye here real quick. I think my possum friends outside the window hear rustling, but I don't see them. I have a possum that comes and visits me sometime. Sometimes. Alright. Back to struggling. Okay. So we're gonna, let's say we put the eye here. Bring in the corn, the edge of that mouth. All right, let's turn the turn the volume down on that layer now. That's a real rough sketch, but let's see what we can do with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna just lower the eye because I don't like where it currently is. 
I'm gonna kind of give him a top of his cheek. Kind of looks angry. I think it's the. That's gonna erase all of this inside of the eye. I like the outside of the eye. I think I want to make it less round. Every drawing I do feels very different. Make it less round. More. I guess like <laughs> more diglet shaped. Fill it in, see how it looks. Pretty good. I think the mouth that I've currently got on it is affecting the expression. Making him look angry. Maybe it's maybe it's this though. Let me get rid of this. That really looks angry. Her. I'm not gonna do that. All right, fix this up a little bit. So it's a very thin, like, eyeliner. Kind of white pattern around the eye. We've got that part. And it's two distinct patterns, too. I wonder if that's what's going on. And they don't look like flower petals. That's just how I'm doing it. All right, so then I'm gonna work on the beak now. So I've changed, I've changed it up a lot from what the beak uh, from my previous robin looked like and what the beak on this robin is going to be like. <sighs> the small little lines sometimes make the most, the biggest difference to me. One more thing, and then I'll probably move along. I want to bring that slightly smaller. Slightly smaller. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we got a happy little robin on our hands. Okay. And then he's got little little feathers back here. Little birdie feathers.
And I did a weird thing with uh, with this robin. This robin, where I made his whole head orange. And robins generally don't have orange heads. Um, they have gray heads. So I'm gonna isolate the head on this guy and give him an orange breast, like is more typical. He's gonna be a chubby little bird. What happens if I make that head a little bit bigger? I think I think I like it a little bit bigger. Okay. You know what also? You know what? I wonder if something that's bothering me is if I've got his body too long. I'm just going to make it like a smidgen shorter and then I'm going to grab, this is the things that I love using my iPad for, just moving little pieces around to perfect a sketch. So I made his body slightly shorter and then I moved his wings in because I'm trying to make him look round and stocky and fluffy. So, all right. All right. So, let's bring his belly out this way. Fluffy belly, fluffy belly, fluffy belly. Well, I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting somewhere. All right, so now we've got these little feathers in here. They kind of start the wing. And then they also kind of define the edge of the orange breast area. And the gray back. So I'm gonna I'm also gonna do those. And then I also like, since I'm eventually going to turn this into a woodcut, I want to put his little feathers down here because those help me to define value later. I'm just going to scribble them in because they'll be carved marks later. Alright, so here we go. Got that. Now we've got a shoulder to take care of. And let's just get some feathers going. Feather, feather, feather. Birds are one of my favorite things to draw. I do I like carving feathers and I like carving fur. So I've got his little underwing feathers going. And now I gotta do the actual flapping feathers uh, that make the wing go. And the first one gets quite a bit of distance away from it. And the second one a little bit closer in. And then they'll just kind of start getting closer and closer. I'm going to do this. I'm going I'm to draw radiating lines just to make it easier for myself to visualize it. All right, perfect. So I'm not 
married to the first scribble I have there. All right. So just radiating lines that kind of go out from the wing. To where the edge of the feather would be and as the wings as the feathers get closer in they get more squared off and they get shorter and then the last one and I'm not horribly um, What's the word? I'm not, I'm not really trying to get every little detail of this feather in. I'm just trying to get the shapes because I'm going to use when I carve it for a for a woodcut. I'll use the texture of my tools and the wood to create the you know the growth of the feathers. All right, I'm going to turn this on silent. That's what we've got so far. Cool. And then going back, I'm going to go to my under layer to this. Wing. It's got a section of, of really short feathers that almost look It's just like a real short semi-circle pattern. So I'm just I'm sketching that out real quick. I don't want it to be the same pattern because I am drawing something organic. Um, so uh, the rules that I started off with, I can break them as I get closer to the edge. But I'm not trying to be perfect with it. I just want to look like what I'm drawing. And that does. It's an impression of it. And I'm trying to make it more you know, design friendly when I'm working here. I don't need it. If there's 12 feathers showing in the picture, I don't need to draw 12 feathers. I can draw 36, I can draw seven. It doesn't matter. All right, so there is a, the next group of wings or feathers is another little fan comprised of three feathers. And I am going to keep that at three feathers, just because it's so few. And it's a good odd number. Groups of things in odd numbers look better. And then, then there's another little group of feathers that come out this way. Another little fan, feather fan. Oops. And then the last feather fan, well, the second to last one before I get to the finger wings, it just comes out right in between those two, that second layer. Oops, too thick on the line. And then the finger wings are quite a bit taller. Let me see if it makes sense to do this, to just kind of shrink that down a little bit. Maybe that a little bit. All right. All right. The finger wings stick up quite a bit taller, but I'm gonna I'm gonna not have them come up that tall, tall enough, but 
not as it's not going to be directly to scale. The one thing that's kind of interesting is each finger wing has a corresponding little fan wing. So the, they do match up perfectly. with this set here. And I drew it as such. So there's that. Beautiful. All right, last but not least. This is where I'm gonna get real designy. Um, the tail. Because the feathers on the back layer up a lot like the feathers that are going on here. Um, just kind of like a semicircle pattern. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Until it gets to nothing. And then I'm gonna put in a couple little fuzzy down feathers at the bottom there. Okay. Sweet. And then I'm going to draw his tail. His or her tail. Their One too many. Tail feathers. In the, in the photo, they uh, they have bird heads way more tail feathers. There are way more tail feathers. But in the drawing, I'm going to take a couple of those away. All right. And last but not least, I'm going to draw in his little feet. So those feet are kind of in this area. They kind of they kind of tuck their little and every photo I use is like really blurry. They kind of because they're flying when when the photo's taken. They kind of they got like three little finger things, and they kind of tuck their little feet up and up against their body. I wonder if I can get away with only drawing two. Kind of looks like little worms coming out. It's not great. <sighs> All right. Take some time to figure out how to draw these little feet. Okay. Let's try this again. All right. So I'm kind. Of, I was kind of drawing them first. Uh, all right. Let's do. Like they've got a little leg and. When I first started to set out to do this drawing, I wanted it to look like it was a perfect profile. So I'm gonna, and I kind of did that, but I'm gonna draw the feet like they're in profile. And I'm making it up. I usually drag them. But if I do that, I've gotta move them. Hmm. All right, so let's move them then. Cause it looks funny there. What happens? I move them there. 
He's like a silly little airplane with tiny little landing gear. <sighs> All right, I kind of like it. All right, so let's go with that. give this one a knee. So, I'm going to turn off all the background. Does that work? I'm going to tuck them up a little bit more. That's a little better. It's sometimes it's just placement. I'll do a little bit of a racing. Come back and draw in. I don't know why, but when you move things around out here, they kind of get blurry. All right. I got rid of this knee, though, on that other one. But that's okay. Alright, so the first little guy, and it's not unlikely that tomorrow I will uh, come in and not like certain things about this bird drawing, and I might make some changes, but for right now, he's 95% there. Um, so I'm going to save him, gallery, save current sketch. And I'm going to go back in, and I'm going to, I'm going to make a little change so it notices something. And I'm going to gallery, save current sketch as a copy, because I want to now make him with the wings down. All right, so we've got a new bird, same bird, but now what I want to do is I want to erase the wings. Because I want this same bird, except with some wings down. And I'm going off script. You know what I should have done? I can still do it. Go backwards. Uh, instead of erasing, I'm going to use white pencil over it. I gotta use a new layer, white pencil, new layer, so that I can click it on and off to make sure it all looks good. And I'm gonna have to move things around, but what I wanna do. do is just make his body look good. And then worry about the wings. Too thick of a pencil. Go back down to like 3.0, 2.0. Uh, 
I don't think I'm gonna be, I have to move the bird because I've run out, I ran out of paper on the bottom. So, I'm gonna have to flatten the image eventually, probably really soon. But I think that's okay as far as how he looks. That's not bad, that's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna merge, let's see. I'm just gonna merge all, merge all. All right, so now I've got this little, this sketch right here. Black pencil. The finger fingers, the finger feathers. He doesn't look very action y though. Hold on one second, I'm gonna get some more inspiration. Oh well, I thought I was gonna get some inspiration, but I had a pileated woodpecker. Uh, carving that I had done a little bit ago, about two years ago, and I thought I still had it, but apparently I have sold it, so I cannot. Um, I could I could pull it up on my computer, but that would take too too long, and I can I could work my way through this. Let me go, let me save this sketch. Save current sketch. That's not bad. Just a quick like back and forth. That's not bad. I'm gonna stick with this. I'm gonna stick with what I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. Got a good thing going. All right, so now that I don't have the layers to mess with, I gotta kick it back with the white pencil with the opacity turned down a little bit just to kind of just kick this layer, this wing down kind of like using a kneaded eraser While I want it to look like the action of flying, I also want both carvings to work well to alone. So, I'm not going to try to mimic every mark that I had made on the first robin and try to recreate it on the second robin. They are two separate pieces. While I want it to look like the animation of flying, it's more important that they... they um, perform well as separate pieces. And I'm really struggling to find words right now. But I hope you understand what I'm saying. I don't know why this isn't... I talk all the time while I'm drawing. It's 
so this is an intensive work. I'm not sticking to the sketch, I'm sticking to the these lines that I've got drawn. Um, I'm coming off of each, remember how I said they've got each finger wing has a secondary uh, feather that it's attached to? I don't know if that's true for the outside, but I'm going to keep that rule. I'll keep all the rules. I do keep some. First, go back. All right, give you time to think. Now, up, oh, not done thinking. There we go. Now I can zoom in. I am going to um, make this first finger wing come out a little bit more. So it's going to be like this. That don't love it. All right, that needs to be straighter. Oh. Straight. Curve out. Since there's only three of these over here, I want to get the shape down. I think that's kind of a key element to these feathers. carve them, those ones are going to be mostly black or dark gray, probably dark gray, so that they fade into the background. Oh, I'm in a new layer. Merge all. Go to all together. Forgot I made that new layer. Just doing some cleanup. Erasing some of these extraneous lines. these marks together. Make them intentional. 
I'm not looking for, like I said, I'm not looking for a finished drawing here. This is really just notes to myself for when I go to the carving. But I want I want the shapes to be there 95%. Oh, you're thinking so hard. Come on. All right. Give it a minute. Let it relax. So close. Okay. what I am going to keep this little toe from the last drawing we did. I'm going to keep it there. All right, so we are save current sketch. We are done with my idea of the bird flapping. I went into the wrong setting. What I wanted to do is zoom in and look at them flap. What do you think? Think that's successful? You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm going to change that. I know I said that I don't need to do everything, but I don't, don't love that, don't love that, don't love this. So I'm going to erase it, and I'm going to do the semicircle thing. circles. I'm not going to do it all the way to the front of the wing. I mean, by the front I mean this leading edge. I'm going to kind of let it fade out. We'll see how I like that treatment a little better. I think I like that better anyways. I mean, it's going to look way different when I carve it. I'm going to save this as a copy just so I don't, so I can compare. I want to move it to the other side over here. Let's see. Sketchbook. Move it to it. No, I got. I got what do I got to do? I got to select it. Nope. There we go. That's what I got to do. And now I can move it to the other side there. X. All right. So I've got that to that. And I'm just kind of looking at this wing and comparing it to that. And that just feels empty. Or that to that. I 
All right, I'm going to go with this one. So there we go. I've got my two flappy wings. So I've got the flap up and the flap down. Flap up. You know what I'm going to do. All right, I've got one more thing. One more thing. Little pick this line right here. I can sit there and do this all day. Makes them look kind of kind of grumpy. So I'm gonna shorten it and raise it ever so slightly. Valerie, save current sketch. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. As I'm gonna shorten that. Shorten it and then just raise it ever so slightly. Gallery save current sketch. Okay. That's better. There we go. One. I keep doing this. One, two, one, two. All right, great. I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me draw. Thank you for hanging out. Um, if you like these kind of videos, let me know, and I'll do more of them. Thanks for watching. Have a great night, or day, or whenever you're watching this. Bye.